What's going on, guys? Today we're gonna get started on Man of Medan. Um, this is gonna be part two. And uh, you guys, please like, comment, subscribe before we get into the video. And uh, let's get started. All right, we're gonna continue. We just um. Uh, we found that wreckage and then we fucked it all up. So we're going from there. We just got to the surface. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Alex. You're like an open book with a 50-point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. Oh, bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. Julia, are you happy? I mean, well, uh, yeah, so far everything's cool. Why would you ask me that? I guess I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future, you know? What's next? Happy future. I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I want to know what's up. Uh, well, okay. Something's going on with this from? dude. I don't know. I'm just feeling good. You know where everybody is. I'll go get him. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. I thought he drank them all. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No. Guys, I'm give good. me one Sorry. second. Didn't realize I was spacing out. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Oh, I messed Going it up. That plane was Give me super one second. Let me just get the screen back. Okay. Now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever. Or else we're going to go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sorry about that, guys. Something Sign me is up. Can't wait to see this sucker for screen. myself. Uh... I'm gonna go find Julia. Uh, give me one second. Sorry about this. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. There we go. Easy, tiger. We should get back. 
right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? We found a flight plan that indicated the plane was on some kind of rescue mission from a nearby U.S. base. Reckless. All of you. Okay, so Excuse the rescue me? mission was I probably told to, you them to leave boat. everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Let's apologize because we want You're her to right. do what we want. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. We want her to take us. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I want to hear Let's it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Come on, man. Be quiet. Shh. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. The ghost. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Oh, gross. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and Sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Hey, oh, Ooh, my heart jumped. Twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. I'm just scared. I got kind of scared. Where are we that. going? It's pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. All right, here comes the storm. Storms are brewing. This is what we're gonna see that ship, ghost ships type style. We're gonna just see it in the, in the fog. Oh, these are gonna end up being those dudes from the boat earlier. Never mind. Oh, goddamn, I keep missing it. Oh, I hate that I don't know the Xbox buttons. Okay, Y, X, A, B. Y, X, A, B. Yeah, it is the guys from the boat. He told him to shut his mouth. Let's get him, everybody on the gag. Like, who the fuck I'm back? Who do and did everybody's tape? Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Almost free. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. He told him to shut his mouth. I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey, Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even want to know. I'm gonna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Let's untie him. Fuck it. We gotta get untied. Here, little lady, you're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Yeah. <laughs> 
Damn, he's fucking me up. What do you fuckers want? One hostages. Oh, there are mine. Want to kill you? I guess. Nah, we if we're gonna go Not out, we're gonna talk shit. I'm gonna kill you. We finish with him later. with terrorists okay oh I forgot about this dude Julia, coming back. put your hands behind your back oh she has an does she always have an inner friend About none of them except them too. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. <sighs> Who's that dude in the hat? Fuck, motherfuckers. Is that the guy from the beginning of the game? The narrator? money they have. <sighs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. No, we have enough. These <clears throat> fuckers need to pay. We gotta fuck we them We gotta up. take them down. Yeah. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take him from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Hey, what was that? Oh, was I supposed to wait into the thunder? The side. We'll hit him together. Let me look at my trade. So I'm witty, reckless, impatient, and eager. Don't fuck yourself. Got 
Nah, we're gonna attack. Oh, you gotta get up, man. Oh, goddamn it. You pretty stupid. I thought my boy could fight. He made it seem like he was about to put in some work. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. That was a horrible plan. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian gold? Oh, so we're all gonna go to the... The gold has to be on that boat, right? Oh, I didn't get to read it. Hey, Darren. You gave me your best shot. All right. Shut the fuck up. There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Flitz has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. Damn. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Nah, Are sure. you out of your mind? How did you come up with this Fucking bullshit? Disrespect. How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. God damn it. Sit still, all of you. Yeah, no problem with the boy. You. boat just Go moving everywhere. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. If you try anything, anything fish, and there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Nah, we can't risk hey, it. Uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Not they just kill us all and leave, so there's no point. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. No. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. See the traits. Relaxed, guarded, innocent, motivated. All right. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? 
don't you? Why do we gotta throw everything out? The most in our water. Ah. Ah. Hey, move it now. I'm so slow. I look down at the button before I press it, and by the time I look, I run out of time. I guess you tried to help, so you know, whatever. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Brad is under the bunk bed. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. I don't even know if he could drown. Was it? Oh, he's wet. Yeah, we can't risk it. Is the point trying to keep all the characters alive by the end of the game? Is that what I'm trying to do? Look, there it is. There it fucking is. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> yeah, so I think the point is to keep everybody alive. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Um, here he is. I'm curious. <laughs> okay, then we will turn to the bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. The door, the door, quick, the door. Junior. Junior, take the dis the distributor cap off. Bro, I'm not getting on the boat. I would just leave my boat on the side and chill on my boat. And if, then if it sinks, then I would get off. Oh, but the, this is where they think the gold is, right? Go. Damn, can I get some shoes? Oh, there's rust on the boat.
Nope. No thanks. God, keep moving. Okay. Alright guys, so we're gonna end the video right there. We just got on the the boat, so I'm sure some creepy stuff's about to start happening, but we're gonna end it there. You guys uh like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you on the next one.